handling of classified documents and his memory. Here's ABC's Derek Dennis with the latest. While speaking at an event in Conway, South Carolina on Saturday, Donald Trump attacking President Biden. The special counsel's report tries to let Biden off by claiming that he is too mentally incompetent to convict at a trial. But if Joe Biden is not fit to charge, they're not going to charge him with a crime, but it's okay for him to become commander in chief. Special counsel Robert Hur declined to prosecute the president over his handling of classified information and pointed out that unlike Trump, Biden cooperated with investigators, sat for a voluntary interview and agreed to searches of his homes. Hur's report also described Biden as a well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory and diminished faculties in advancing age, angering the president. This, these assertions are not only misleading, they're just plain wrong. Trump on Saturday says he has called for cognitive tests. I actually think anybody running for president should have tests. I think, and I pass them every time. The former president also attacking Nikki Haley, calling her brain dead and saying her husband deployed to get away from her. Where's her husband? Oh, he's away. He's away. Haley on a bus tour in her home state of South Carolina, quickly responding. If you mock the service of a combat veteran, you don't deserve a driver's license, let alone being president of the United States. Donald, if you have something to say, don't say it behind my back. Get on a debate stage and say it to my face. Major Michael Haley is currently deployed on a year-long stint in Africa with the South Carolina National Guard. Derek Dennis, ABC News, New York.